sitting in front of me here is a longer Ray 5 laser engraver and I'm going to show you how to use the offline controller to do repetitive projects uh, specifically we do a lot of tiles for this is the one I'm going to demonstrate right here coming up Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And what I've got here in front of me, as I mentioned at the beginning, is the longer Ray 5 laser engraver. And I'm going to engrave ceramic tiles without having the laptop hooked up to it. So first, well, how do you do that? How do you get your file and all that kind of stuff? Uh, there's a micro SD card slot on here where you can load your G-code. And I'll take you up on the computer and I'll show you how I set that up. Okay, so we'll get going here with uh, how to save this onto a micro SD card to run this offline. I have a micro SD card in there right now. One of the first things I want to do is format that new card. And I suggest you not use the card that came with it, but use uh, a new card or a different card. Keep the files that are on that card. So we'll get this formatted. Okay, it doesn't take long. I'm going to be using Lightburn for this here example here. So we get Lightburn opened up. And we get the longer Ray 5 laser selected. And I want to put a, I already have a file created for this. We're going to do something. Fishers, that's fishermen, have long rods. So there's our graphic. And we're the center of the job origin is center. That's where I run my things from. So this is all, I have all my cuts and layers already set up for this. So what I'm going to do is save the G code. Little button right here. So save G code. Well, you got to put it somewhere. We'll get up here to my SD card. We're going to call this Fishers Tile. It's going to be going on a ceramic tile. We'll save that. Now I just need to take that card down and put it in the laser. Okay, so say it wasn't too tough, and of course I use light burn for almost everything. Uh, this is what the finished product is going to look like. This has already had the paint stripped off of it. So if you're not familiar with the uh, tile, ceramic tile, laser engraving it, you can't just laser engrave a tile. It needs to be coated with white paint. And uh, sometime in the future, maybe I'll make a video on A lot of people have done it. It's called the Norton White Tile Method. And one of the things you'll need to do, regardless of what laser you have, is you need to do a burn test. And there is a, this is, can be found all over the uh, interwebs and on Thingiverse. It's the uh, Norton White Tile Method test grid. And it will give you your speed and the percentage of power. That's how I know where to set this laser. And just because this is a 5.5 watt laser, and maybe you've got another 5.5 watt laser that you're using a certain setting on, everyone has its own personality, it seems. You need to do a burn test for every laser. I have nine lasers, and a lot of them are 5.5 watt. Every one of these come out different. Maybe not a lot, but enough that it makes a difference on the final product. And one of the things we do is a lot of these laser engraved tiles. So I'll bring you around here close, we'll show you how we set this up. Okay, so your card's inserted right here, and as I mentioned uh, when I was up there on the computer, don't use the card that came with it. Get, these are not expensive, the little 8 gigabyte card. They have the file on. Save your card that came with the laser. It has your manual on it and firmware and other things. Just keep that in a safe place. Put it someplace where you won't forget where it is, and then you'll forget like I do. But at any rate, put your card in there. I have the laser on, and I need to get my tile set in place. So this is the tile I'll be using. I have burned into my grid here a pattern just for these tiles, because we do a lot of them. I've already set my focus, done that ahead of time. Okay, what we want to do next here, touch screens, engraving object there. The file I'm doing is uh, the Fishers. And I position that locks the position in. 
is I have this prepositioned on center. Then I can frame this if I wish. And then I just click the check mark and it starts engraving. And you'll notice there's a lot of scorching there around the lines. That's uh, normal. It's just scorching the paint. When, once I strip the paint off of there, uh, you won't see any of that. Of course, I'm not going to uh, video the entire engraving here. This is several minutes long. But we'll come back to this as it gets towards the end. Okay, and there it is. And if you look at the touch screen down there, it'll tell you file is print done. That's not the best English, but okay. So you can click yes. And you can reload and repeat. This is what this looks like right now. And we'll get the paint off of that here in a minute. As I said, you could take another one, load it up. Okay, so you have the next one in there. All you have to do is start her up again. And it'll make another. So, it's just that easy to use that off light controller and it's super, super handy. I don't have to have a laptop tethered to this. That's uh, one less light burn license I need to order or buy. And I can run these in batches. Okay, somebody may question, well, why don't you just do a whole bunch at once? Well, I, I could, and I have one of my other lasers set up to do that. But a lot of times I prefer to do these one at a time in case something goes awry. I'm not ruining a whole batch. You'd only ruin one. And I'm not standing here watching this while it's doing it. I'm doing other things as these are engraving. So, now I need to get on with doing a whole bunch more of these because I got an order for a bunch of these. So if you got anything out of this, how to use this offline controller on this longer Ray 5 laser, appreciate getting the thumbs up, always helps the channel. If you're looking to buy one of these, there's a link in the description. And I know they're running a special here up through uh, early, early part of April. You can get, uh, I think, $70 off. And that'll be in the description too. Well, otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop, Longer Ray 5 Laser. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.